How you doing? Paul Lightfoot from Bright Farms. Good to see everyone again. We grow produce near supermarkets to eliminate time, distance, and costs from their supply chains. Last year, I felt lucky to give you an update. We had just finished the construction of a $2.5 million, 56,000 square foot hydroponic greenhouse farm in Bucks County, about 90 minutes away from here. And, uh, and I was pretty excited at the time. I'm even more excited now. We've operated it for about a year. Uh, during that time, we, we, we shipped produce to a, a four-store great chain in Bucks County called McCaffrey's Markets, but also to A&P stores in Philadelphia, New Jersey, and sometimes when there was enough produce, even in New York. And we had some great experiences. We learned that customers preferred our produce because it was fresher and it was tastier. Customers loved supporting produce that came from a farm that they knew and could trust where the source was. And we also learned a lot of lessons. We really figured out how to grow local produce on a commercial scale. When I gave my talk in 2012, I talked about getting a revolution going. And the revolution has certainly begun. And now I feel like we're definitely not alone in the fight. We've raised $17 million in capital to build greenhouses, almost all of it from institutional investors. Bright Farms was just named by Fast Company Magazine as one of the 50 most creative businesses in the world. And we keep signing more supermarkets up. We just announced about two weeks ago that, that All Hold, one of the biggest supermarket chains in the, in the world, you'll know it in this region with Stop and Shop, in, uh, in, in, the, in the DC, Pennsylvania areas with Giant Foods, they just signed a long-term fixed cost contract to buy produce from a project we're gonna build in Ward 8, a low-income neighborhood in Washington, DC, which would be a terrific project for us. I'm super proud of what our team has accomplished, but we feel like the work has just begun. If we add up the sum of all of the purchase commitments from our clients, we call that our backlog, it adds up now to $100 million, and that's a lot of lettuce.